dudes, I appreciate all of, like, the messages being like, oh, maybe you can take it to, like, Pacific Mall or, like, my cousin or something. Or, like, I can try to fix the screen for you. Dudes. Dudes. It's dead. Guys, I freaking love you all, but, like, some of you are driving me absolutely nuts. Like, it's toast, guys. Like, it was run by, over by a fucking streetcar. No, it's not turning on. No, I can't put it in rice. Like, I can't even charge it. It also smells like, like cherries for some reason, which I really don't think is a good thing. <laughs> hey Apple, hey Casetify, I just have a little bit of a minor complaint. Um, Apple, your phone didn't endure being run over by a streetcar in case if I, your case didn't save it. Guys, guys, first of all, it fell out of my pocket. It wasn't intentional. I went to go look for it. Went all the way back to the pizza spot. Thought someone picked it up. Almost had like a nervous breakdown. I went back and found that it had been like run over like a bajillion times. I can't turn it on and off again. I can't put it in rice. I need to go to Rogers, but my ADHD isn't letting me do it. And yeah, I'm using my iPad right now. Does that answer all of your DMs? One last thing about the phone. If one more person tells me to use the mending key or some kind of key to fix it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my shit, bro. I'm gonna lose my. I, I know you guys know this, but lock and key isn't real. But you know what is real? My struggle right now. I don't have a phone, but I have a lot, a lot of unsolicited advice. And I thank you guys so much. I just want to make sure that's very clear that I thank you that you guys care so deeply about my phone. But I'm gonna lose my. So I'm going to go to bed and we're never going to talk about this ever again.